Our mission, the statement is uh, seeds, uh, educates life, uh, respect for uh, each other and the environment through gardening and growing food. We have our after school program, uh, which teaches kids about, about gardening and respect for each other. And summer camps doing the same thing. Not full grown adults because I'm too big for a python to eat, although it might try. It's really awesome to see how some kids, like you'll struggle with certain things one year and you work that whole camp with them. And then the next year they really get it or they really become much more mature, awesome versions of themselves. I love what I do, and that's why I do it, but they have to find something that they really love to do, and they have to start now reading about it, looking at videos, getting first-hand experience with it, and as they get older, they can, they'll have a pretty easy job if they stick with something that they love. I actually want to work here. I want to be like Sayers. The community garden is a plot that helps to show other people in the community that this is a space, a small space that you can have and you can produce enough produce for your family. We've seen a lot of um, strength and growth in the community garden program. We started out with not as much participation just because it was more of a free program where people came in and out of the garden as they pleased. But now with officers in place, we're able to hold more events and to organize people to come together at the same time to do more community building. I think that having such an agriculturally focused area in the center of an urban uh, city like this is really unique. I don't think that community gardens are the same as this because uh, this place has all the resources that anyone could need to learn how to grow something. I'm the coordinator of the DIG program. Um, that means that I work with the youth who are in the um, DIG, Durham and City Gardeners program. And we manage the garden that's across the street together. Uh, we do workshops, we learn about um, food justice and food access, and then also kind of interpersonal skills and um, kind of job skill training. I mean, it's kind of hard because, like, you know, it's a collaborative thing. You know, you got five other people, and you know, they got five different ideas. So sometimes it's like it's kind of hard because, like, people have different opinions and ideas and stuff. But you know, you get you get um you overcome it. You know. I'm a dig youth. Um, I'm part of the leadership team. I help organize and lead other people that come to our program and teach them about food justice, food sustainability, and teach them about gardening. Andy is, um, she's a, one of the DIG crew members. She has been on the crew, um, currently she's the oldest, like the person who's been on the crew the longest, not the oldest person. Um, she's been on the crew the longest and she just has a lot of knowledge. She brings her, you know, four, I think she, this is going to be her fourth summer on the crew. So she has four years of knowledge of this garden, four years of being a leader in the program, which is just really important because when we bring in new people into the program, she can teach them with all that knowledge and all that perspective. 
people. I'm an open-minded person, but it opened up my mind more and exposed me to different things. DIG is a very good program for students and young adults, youth in general, to basically see what the community needs, how to give back to your community, how to communicate with your community, because I feel that nowadays people just live beside each other. We don't live together anymore. And I think that's a very important piece that's missing in society now. And I think this is a very good way to get that back and make sure you're always in touch with your neighbor and people across the country, beside, people living beside you, people in another county, it's always important for everyone to be together because this world isn't divided into seven billion tiny worlds. It's just one world and we need to become that one. SEEDS has been at the center of the conversation in Durham about community gardening, about sustainable agriculture, um, about environmental stewardship and health and nutrition and the intersection of all of those things since we started in 1994. There's so much change. One of the changes to me is the building, of course. So the building was not even a tenth of the size. This was just a little flat building, kind of crappy. R rats and mice running all around it. Um, it, it. It wasn't very attractive. But the outside, if you looked at it, lots of really beautiful plants growing, so that made a difference. We were really fortunate to have somebody donate a large amount of money so we can get what you have right here. There have been some changes culturally. When I first came in, there were so many different people. Now, I'm, I'm enthused about it, but most of the women, I work with mostly women now, which is great. Um, uh, it's just have changed because, and it's crazy because I feel like every day I see something, oh wait, there was a plum tree right here. Oh wait, but now we have apples and, and the thing that I'm most heartbroken about is there is a fig tree that was here. They had to, they moved it over here. They took some of the, I don't know how, they, they um, I forgot how, I forgot what, they grafted the fig tree. But it made me sad because my first love was a fig tree. What I see most of all is opportunity. We have a tremendous resource here at Seeds and that resource has expanded exponentially with a new building, with a teaching kitchen, with space to bring people in and teach and share, with a beautiful garden that is transforming to meet the needs of our current programs as well as the needs of our future programming. I think it might stretch more with that one. You're doing great. Right now we're going through this transition where we have a redesign and um, it's not just plants and gardening, it's art and cre creativity um, that is all melded together in this one place. I think when you think about it, like seeds, while it is like the staff members that are here, seeds are the people that it serves in the community. So as these kids get older, like how they stay involved will really kind of shape the organization. SEEDS provides a, a model for the community and it is right smack in the middle of a very urban area. And um, people walk by and they want to garden. Where I would like to see the most change with SEEDS is to find a way that we can use this two acres that we have here and this wonderful programming that we already have to impact more people. So the coop is pretty cool. This is all entirely built by a volunteer. His name is George. We got a couple different components to it. You can be able to open this up and grab some eggs. That's where the chickens will roost. And then over here, there's a little sneak peek 
This is basically like a children's viewing spot so they can see what the chickens are doing while they're inside the coop. And then the chickens will have this whole giant space to wander around and do their thing. And we're working on the working on the gay right now. So, hey guys, you want to say hi? Hey. <laughs> this is, hey, I'm Robin. I'm a garden intern here. All that. <laughs> I've been working here since uh, probably May, so it's been about two months. Love it. Absolutely love it. Can't believe they paid me to do it. <laughs> uh, I love being outside. I love talking to people. The volunteers are always fun. Learn cool life stories. Um, it's a power rush, you know, all the power that I have. Our ED, Executive Director Emily over there, she's got some real power, you know. She's, I feel like we could elect her ruler and we could just slowly take over all community gardens and maybe, and maybe the East Coast, you know. While you're eating uh, popsicles. Yeah. Is this a high road? Oh yeah. Well, thank you. No okay.